I actually want us to talk about that yeah. in a in a very honest way. The conversation of of, of loss mm. and the conversation of 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 grief. Because yes, mm. we we talk about it. We 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 do captions, and sometimes it may seem like we're over it or like you could say now celebrating your birthday and you do a photo shoot and it's fine and it seems like oh you're fully healed you're fine now like you, you don't have crying nights but i that's obviously not the case so how has the journey looked how did the journey look in the beginning mm. if i can say in the middle yeah and now in the beginning it makes you sick that's mm. how painful grief is mm. like you feel physically sick mm. to your core it's dark mm. it's dark it is you know you can actually hear the pain you sure. you can hear it you can because it's so still yeah. right it nothing is moving yeah um you know i always refer to my, my close family and friends about at the time i couldn't even be on social media because I, I was like why is everyone so happy yeah Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like why, you didn't understand. Like why is everyone so happy yeah. when my world has literally stopped. fallen apart yeah. and it stopped? It is excruciatingly painful. Um and and me having even been in the accident with him, I still sure. had to also deal with, with your own pain. My own physical physical, physical pain. emotional, mental, financial, financial, you know, because you have a husband. Sure. I work in an industry where I'm working sometimes, I'm yeah. not sometimes. So yeah. you have somebody who's like, you know, you, like your, your cushion. cushion yeah. Who's like, baby, I'll hold it down. And yeah. then he, he's gone. Like, with no preparation, with no warning, with no nothing. It's just, like, it's just you wake up one day and your entire family structure is broken. But gracefully so, though, I, I must say. Because sure. I think, like I said, I mean, of course... Would I, if if I were to be given a chance to bring him back, would I? Of I course would I would. Yeah. I'd give anything to have him back. But I sometimes think to myself, when he was at that crossroads, mm. and he had to choose, right? Yeah. And he chose that I live, and not him. You know. Um, I know no better definition of love. Yeah. Literally the love of Christ, which that's how God ch ch tells a man to love his wife. And he didn't he didn't have to think about it, right? Sure. Um the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. The ultimate sacrifice so that our child could have his mother, you know. Mm. He chose that. So back to your question and I know yeah. I'm diverting no, a little bit. Fine. But in the middle, um in the middle, it looked... Before we go to the middle. Yeah. The first, I would almost say the first Ooh. 12 months of a, a, a child's life. Firstly, for the mother, I think it's, I can almost call it havoc. Like a beautiful havoc. Because one, you still have to discover, who are you now? Like, Mpumi, who is this person? Who's this, per who's this person? <laughs> and then, who's, who's this, this person? Because yeah. I don't know this person. Now, having to navigate that, I mean, I, I be, you, your son was eight months old. So it's one of the most beautiful times of your life. You're about to celebrate his first birthday. Um, how do you take care of a needy child at eight months old when you can't take care of yes, yourself? Sir. And have you gotten to a point where you've explained... Um, because, I mean, our, our kids go to the same school. Mm. And sometimes other kids are dropped off by their dads. And yeah. sometimes at, like, school gatherings, both mm. parents are there. And yeah. you're with your mom. How do, yeah. you, how do you navigate that emotionally? Maybe now you don't first have to sit. Now you're not at a point where you have to explain it to him. But as self, as when, yeah. how do you carry, carry that? Sure, for me. And, you know, when, when he just passed, I couldn't even stand the side of my child. Yeah. Because I looked at him and I thought, it's not fair. He's on team. Not to think he's on team. Listen, I, I knew that temporarily, physically, yeah. I can't do anything to care for him. And that broke me, right? Yeah. Couldn't breastfeed anything. But in the whole picture, yeah. I didn't understand. Like, how does this little, helpless little soul mm. have to experience this it's just not fair yeah, yeah why does he not get the chance to experience the fullness 
of his father's love sure. that I know yeah. he gave to him so, you know, unwavingly. Yeah. And, and navigating that for me was tough. It, 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 just, it just really made me think, perhaps God, when you're done with this, then you, you got to deposit more in me because... <laughs> how yeah. do I do, how do a I double d- of a job? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. How do I do a double of a job on my own? I'm not I'm not built for it, yeah. you know. Yeah. But God said that you are. You are and I'm going to show you and I'm going to hold your hand. And so like you say like a baby, I learned to walk with him. Sure. From walking, we yeah. ran, you know. So we literally have our own developmental milestones yeah. together. Together, yeah. And um have I told him? I tell him, but he doesn't get it yet because he was still small. Yeah. So, um, he, and he's also not speaking as much yet because yeah. he's still learning. Yeah. So I don't think he quite grasps yet that yeah. there's a mom and a dad that's dropping other yeah. kids at school. Yeah. But dad is a part of our home. There's pictures of him. Okay. Th- he's got videos of him. I mean, I show him, I play him, on, and then he goes, that dad, you know, he, wow. he, know. he so knows. It, it, he, he knows, yeah. but of course he just doesn't know why he's not physically here. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay, you can go back to the middle and mm. the and the now. The middle, the middle, told me or it felt like okay, I'm ready to come out. Guys is gonna try and because there's now double responsibility yeah. on me, right? Yeah. And sitting at home continually drowning in my pain is not gonna bring us out of it, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, this is not in any way saying I wasn't allowing myself to feel. Yeah. I was. But I think I had to also just remind myself that if you sit in it too long, yeah. a lot more will go bad. Like yeah. a lot more could be And it be will take so much more to, to get come, out. Exactly. To come out, yeah. yeah. So it looked like, I think that's the part where you put the makeup on and the yeah. dress. Yeah. And you, you do what you, you need to do. You do what you do, have to do. Right? Yeah. So it looked like that. Yeah. But was I healed? No, yeah. you know, still breaking down as often, um, still asking the whys, yeah. still questioning God, yeah. you know, if is this what he really thinks is, you know, something I'm worthy? Yeah. Is this something that I'm worthy of? So it looked like that to myself. And yeah. I think to a lot of people, it also looked like, okay, you know how they always judge us? Like, how sick a poem? Yeah, it's you know? But I think I've always been cognizant of the fact that my journey is mine and it's yeah. mine alone. And um, now, it's after dark. Okay, what's after dark? <laughs> <laughs> you see, the thing is, when it came from the middle, yeah. When you're sitting in darkness, you can tell that there's light somewhere. Yeah. But you can't locate it. Yeah, you can't see it. You can't see it. But it gives you that sense that there's a trail or there's a there's a there's a road that you must follow. Yeah. Or a pathway that you must follow so that you find it, right? So now that I'm at that point where I found it. I'm at that point where I'm like, it's actually now after dark. Okay. Yeah. And it's not to say I don't have my moments. I still I still give, you know, the time and the, the you know, I embrace yeah. the pain that yeah. it comes. A few weeks ago on social media, I was crying and I was wearing my ring and I said, I miss yeah. my husband, yeah. you know, I, absolutely nothing else today, but today is just about missing him. But that's not to say that I don't understand that the, the, the you know, the mic that I've been given now mm. is different, you yeah. know, and I live in full awareness of that because I understand that my journey was always going to bring me to exactly where God needed me to be. And it's a beautiful journey uncovering it.